Aries. How's it going? Sit down because we're going to go through every single card in this deck and talk about this eclipse you got going on here on August. August. Listen to me. April 8th. All right, uh, Aries. I just did Taurus, actually. Aries. Sun, moon, rising. So, as I said in my past video, um, I do feel like this this reading, because it's, you know, with the eclipse, if you have any, if you have Libra, perhaps, in your uh, sun, moon, rising, I would watch that video as well. because it might be quite relevant for you. So let's see how this is going to affect you. here. Okay, Aries, let's get to it. Let's see. You see all the cards? No. Okay, let me bring these down a little bit. All right, that's better. Um, wow, that's a lot of majors to start off with. Okay, so uh, clearly some shit went down here. Um, Just see how many cards will fit. Yeah. Okay, we'll just keep it at that. All right. Let's see. So, yeah. Um, I feel you guys uh, may have been involved in a situation that you romanticized a lot. Uh, whether that have been a relationship, which kind of looks like it was relationship in there it could have been a business um you know some kind of contract you felt like whatever it was let's just say relationship mm. whoever this person was like you had not only were you very attracted to them but you had a lot of uh respect you know um you counted a lot on this person like you felt like you could put your life in their hands that type of thing but, wow, like, were you mistaken? Or at least that's how you felt at some point. Like, the, there was an, uh, an immense amount of um, this feeling of, like, the dis disappointment is just not enough of a word to really get across how you felt. It, it, it's... But I can't really even blame this other person, like, whoever disappointed you. Of course... You know, they, they must have done something to make you feel that way. But I feel like a lot of your feelings of disappointment have a lot to do as well with the fact that you idealized the situation. So it's, it's almost like um, 
you, you kind of put yourself in a position where you can only go down from there, you know? Oh, yeah, High Priestess Reverse. So something was, um, so maybe you were with someone who you thought was with you for love and it ended up being that this person might have been using you for money. Yeah. Yeah, so there, there was definitely like some ill intent here. I feel like it's not completely over between you and this person though. Like it's over between you emotionally as far as like relationship wise, but there's there feels like some kind of tie still, whether that be just energetic or you have, I don't know, responsibilities together, assets, I don't know, whatever that is. The Tower and the King of Cups. This could be a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. Oh, interesting. Okay, Wheel of Fortune reverse and the Queen of Cups. Uh, is it possible that a situation... So is I, I feel like a relationship here, the one that I said hasn't completely ended. I feel like that is almost like a, it's on its last leg because another relationship began, like two people fell in love. So if this is you and your partner, this could be like your partner fell in love with some somebody else. So if you, let's say Aries, if you were with a water sign, let's say, could be, but not doesn't necessarily have to be. I'm just saying because there's a king and a queen of cups here. If you were with a water sign, this water sign could have found someone that they feel is their person, their other half. And so I don't know if that influenced, you know, their feelings about you. Four of Wands, Four of Wands, wow. I'm getting here like somebody concocting some kind of plan to leave someone penniless. Like this is their revenge plot to leave someone, because they know that this is how... And I don't know if this is you, Aries, <laughs> but I'm just putting it out there. Like, I don't know who this is, but somebody here is like knows that there is someone who the worst thing that could happen to them is to not have money or not have stability. Like this would make them feel like less of a person or just not confident or like they're a nobody, you know, that kind of thing. So it's like, this per whoever's doing the revenge know knows that this is the one button that if I press that button and it's almost like um like okay so if this is you Aries if if this is your plan it's not because you want to see this person penniless it's because This is like almost a guarantee to keep this relationship stable and alive. Or this is this person doing this to you. Which could very well be. So someone's doing something. So there, there's, there's a high degree of manipulation happening here or this battle for control. Yeah, so, so for some of you, I'm seeing your reason to stay 
in this connection with this person could have to do with children for some of you. For others of you, it's it's very like a very um, like a pure love. You had a very pure love for this person and you feel very hurt that now they're turning around and leaving you for somebody else like that they see someone else the way that you see them that that very much hurts you but your motivation or the way that you see them is very pure the love there is very pure whereas with this person this other person and again i'm getting a king of cups um i feel like this person is is uh, more on the selfish side, like they're they're kind of um, self indulgent. They're all about themselves. They're, they're just I don't know, boastful. I'm getting very boastful. Very they like to be liked. So this could be someone that seeks validation. Um, they they just want people to like them. They like to have a lot of people around them. They could frequent bars a lot. Um, and so I feel like over time, your personalities were, were just not, even though there was a lot in common at, initially, there was a lot of attraction and whatnot, but your personalities, like what, what you wanted out of life was totally different. And so over time, I feel like both of you kind of stopped trying to bring a balance to that, to, to try to even make it work because it was never going to, you know, in order for it to work, like one of you would have had to almost change the way that you were completely and and like why so and and i think that that's what you tried to do for some time and hence the reason you know because it this does seem like you kind of tried you both tried six of pentacles give and take in in way that, yeah you both tried but the results were not good we have the Ten of Cups in reverse here. So nobody was really happy. And, and this is why Seven of Cups reverse. We're having this um, realization that this was all an illusion. It wasn't, it was never what you had put up on that pedestal. It was never what you had idealized. You know, it wasn't as great as what you saw through those rose-colored rose glasses. You made this person out to be so much better than they actually who they actually were, um, and that's a loss for both you and them because who knows if they'll ever find someone who sees them the way that you saw them. I feel like somebody's problem here was that they always put themselves first and foremost. It, it was never, and they felt like that was the right thing to do for the good of the, you know, the group or the family or, you know, that as long as they got their way and everything, you know, maybe they were very focused on like their, their business or their career, their, you know, so they felt like if all that goes well, Maybe they wanted to be famous. I don't know. I'm getting that sense here. Like somebody who needed a lot of attention. It's like they wanted to be famous or something. They wanted to be able to travel. They wanted to be seen by a lot of people. Um, and they felt that if they if they got that, then you in turn would enjoy life a lot more because of them. And, that, and you weren't seeing that. But you started to see, um, you know, the lies and what was actually keeping you there. And this helped you make these important decisions, or it will, because this could very well be what is coming. Um, and that's probably what it is, actually. So, yeah, I'm just seeing a brand new cycle starting. Um, I'm seeing you make decisions or allowing yourself to make decisions based on your intuition.
it's like if you have to start over, you're going to start over doing things that in a way that you hadn't done before. You're not going to start um, a new cycle, a new life, a new whatever, and keep doing the same things that you had been doing in the past because that did not work for you. Yeah, whoever you were dealing with, I don't know if they, I don't want to say they were completely, maybe they're just a cold person, I don't know, or it just feels to me like they don't consider other people's feelings, they, it's just not a thought in their mind, and so they end up hurting a lot of people. Because they just don't take these things into consideration. We have nine of wands, nine of wands. And uh, interesting because I, I kind of feel like it's because, again, they're so focused on themselves. Like they're always kind of focused on protecting themselves. Um, that's kind of indicative of somebody who maybe have been through some trauma in the past. And so there's this this sense of like fight or flight or, and, 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 and there's always like having to protect against others. And um, so th there's just this hyper focus on, on themselves and therefore the reason why it doesn't even occur to them. Like they, they don't really even care. <laughs> seven of swords in reverse with the seven of swords. They really don't even care. I feel like if it, they hurt your feelings because in their mind, they're just trying to protect themselves. And if your feelings get hurt in the process, well, then so be it. You know, so they, they kind of justify it away. King of Swords. Judgment and death. Let me just get these cards out. Yeah, this person with whatever they did. I feel like their way of holding you back. Hmm. Here's the dark thing is that mm, some of this pain that they caused you wasn't just like mm, happenstance like it, it just, you know, like I was just saying, they, they don't even think about how they're going to make people feel. I'm kind of seeing like there were situations where some of it was calculated. I'm not going to lie. Um, and I feel like it was more so in the sense of like um, expressing feelings, pretending to have more feelings than they actually did and using that against you, you know, like using your love against you really to, to manipulate you and I feel like you have or you're going to have perhaps during this eclipse look at this depictions here so during this eclipse season and it might be the one coming up because we do have justice here with this king of swords so it's giving me that Libra you know, it could be that Libra um, lunar eclipse on the 25th, March 25th. So um, something may happen or nothing may happen. This may just be through a dream. This may just be through your own meditation. Like sometimes in prayer, you know, you get information that, that you've been wondering about. Um, 
but I do feel like you gain some clarity on what exactly for some time has been having you be not yourself. Uh, feeling out of control, feeling unhappy, feeling angry, feel like lashing out at people. Um, I'm just getting rage. There's a lot of rage here from someone. And there's, there's like a moment to sit and figure out or there needs to be. I don't know. Maybe that somebody needed to hear that They're, for your own sake, for your own well-being, like for your own emotional well-being to figure out where exactly pinpoint where that rage is coming from, who, who is causing that or what is it, what, what is it, you know, to at least know where it's coming from so that it can be worked through. Um, because I feel like that's that tie that this person has to you. So these are like energetic cords that need to be cut, snipped away and, and severed <laughs> so that you could finally just be done with it. And you will be done with it because we have here, you know, judgment with the death card. This is a karmic, very difficult karmic process that you were meant to go through. Yeah, and, and it really was about you choosing yourself, choosing to have this new beginning, to open up your heart again. Um, and that's only by letting go what you once put so much value on that you just wanted to hold on to it for dear life. But finally, look, we have the chariot and you sitting on it, sitting on that throne, ready to move on, ready to move forward. And this is like after, I feel like some of you may be going through some kind of spiritual awakening that changes really your perspective, but in a very positive way. I feel you, you know, with this rainbow here, like you have this newfound um, sense of faith, faith, sorry, <laughs> faith. Why did I say fate? Hmm. So something, yeah, something may happen that you feel like it was faded, like maybe you understand that some things were just fated to occur and you feel at ease with that. You feel at peace. But through this, I do feel like there's some kind of gift mm, that is unlocked um, in terms of your intuition. All right. Okay, so okay, I'm seeing um, you guys will be moving on, but I feel like the cards want to set the right expectation, um, not to lower your your morale or burst your bubble or anything like that, but more so to for the simple reason of you not feeling like you're failing or like you're not doing something right, it's not going to be, you know, an overnight easy thing. Um, so understand that I see a lot of you having like suitors around, you know, there's people who want to get to know you. They want to go out with you. They want to, and they want to invest time. I'm seeing people like really wanting to genuinely get to know you, investing time, not just like quick wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of situations. Um, these are people who are actually taking you seriously. But I, 
I'm seeing like you're you're you, by you just being you, you're you're calling this into your life, but internally you're still carrying, even though you're completely free at this point in the reading, you are gonna be free. You are gonna have this new beginning. But it's like you're still carrying this weight on your shoulders about the past that's not letting you completely like flourish to your highest potential. Because there's still the memories from the past, like you're still guarded um, because of whatever, whatever you know from the past, and which is fine. Because I feel like for for most of you, what that means is that you're not ready for this Ten of Cups. You're not ready to you know think that far down the line and um, commit yourself to one person. You're not ready right now. Maybe you're just ready for a good time and enjoying somebody's company but there's still there's still a lot that plagues your mind yeah I feel like you're still kind of working through I see some of you like going to therapy maybe starting that um, to work through some some of those issues um, yeah I'm, I'm seeing a lot of you like sharing your thoughts but um, you know traumatic thoughts that possibly in the past you never would have talked about and I'm actually look we have two pages here you're talking about it like you have this courage now I feel like before you never would have talked about these things these things where you would have shied away from it like no that never happened <laughs> but yeah you're actually sharing your experiences about somebody who emotionally deceived you is what I'm getting there but yeah, again, I'm getting here, you're not very open to working toward um, anything long term at the moment. That's something that you're going to continue to like shy away from for some time, I'm getting. So at least a year, at least. For some of you, like way longer even. So yeah. Some of you could have an earth sign cut you off. Or you feel ignored by an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It doesn't have to be an earth sign. This could just be somebody who provides um, a sense of home to you. like Somebody who's very nurturing, who usually cares for you a lot and pays a lot of attention. Then all of a sudden they have all these things to do. Um, being pulled in different directions. And you feel... Uh, abandoned or ignored by this person. So this could be a, this could be a friend, a family member, romantic partner, whoever. And this could be at a time when you're going through something. I feel like painful. I don't know. It's like again, you're you're still carrying this weight from the past. It's like. And, and these are tens. Okay, so we're at the full. You're having this new beginning, but you still have the, have the weight of the ten of wands. You know, so, so some kind of ending. The tens are about endings, the ending of a cycle. You're still carrying that with you. Um, and then here we have the ten of pentacles reverse. Again, another ten with the ten of swords and the wheel of fortune, which is the ten of the major arcana. So all of these tens um, and the ace of cups is in reverse. So it's like, you're still dealing with the ending of the last chapter. You're still trying to close that last chapter. And maybe you just have to talk it through. But I'm just saying this is a slow process. So don't beat yourself up about it. Just enjoy the fact that you have, I feel like you have a lot of people or you're going to have a lot of people who want to have you around, who want to get to know you. You're not going to have any shortage of that. So I feel like you have the luxury to take your time. What's the rush? Like take your time and, you know, do what you need to do for yourself first. Get yourself in a good head space, a good emotional space. And whoever is truly, truly interested, they will wait. <laughs> I, I actually feel like somebody is watching you, honestly, with this page of swords here. Like somebody is watching you let someone go. And they feel like they need to give you time with that seven of pentacles because you're going through some painful changes. 
but someone is aware they are watching you look the seven prince princess of swords is right above that emperor which is you someone is very attracted to you they they're yeah, they are very attracted they're very tempted to look at this look at this somebody is somebody has their freaking eyes at, like they might be watching you with binoculars literally like i don't know but they are so attracted to you yes they want to reach out to you but they know it's not the right time because they know what you're going through i don't know if this is like a friend that you have but someone around you knows could be a taurus could be a capricorn i'm getting strong earth They feel like you're going to reject them. So it's like they're having a hard time holding back. Um, mainly because they see like you're sad and they feel like you're lonely. <laughs> so they feel like, you know, they can, the two of you can help each other out. But time and place. The sun. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> So this person, actually, when they found out that you let go of that past person, they were really happy about it. It was like their dream come true. They have been waiting for this to happen. Like maybe they knew that you were in a toxic connection and they've been waiting for this to occur. And finally, it's like you made the decision. Like they were probably thinking, finally, Aries moved on from this person. Like it's about time. They made the decision. Finally, Aries made the decision with the Queen of Swords. Six of so yeah, but they feel like they see you somebody very put together, very strong. You know, they're very attracted to to your whole your character, um, your your presence in a room. You know, like you you walk into a room and people notice. Um, but they do feel that you still have not moved on yet from that past situation. <laughs> if they ever got you in the bedroom like for them it would be their biggest conquest they want to talk i'm getting earth sign again strong capricorn it's like you're a challenge because they know also that you want to be free you don't want to be tied down and that's a challenge to them because they kind of do want to tie you down um but with the devil card that's more like a power more like an ego trip to be honest like they you know like wanting what you can't have that's what i'm picking up there so mm. but they are very attracted i mean the the attractions there like I'm, I'm not seeing anything but this yeah like there is a little bit i don't know like, i think that's kind of normal is it not i don't know yeah they they have been watching they I feel like this person does like commitment, though, because they're coming up here as a king of pentacles, and then we have the hierophant as well. Like, that's somebody who means business. They're not about, you know, playing games or anything like that. I feel like they mean business. And the fact that they see you as an emperor, they feel like you mean business, too, or they're, they're under that impression. Um, and they feel like getting you would be like a step up for them. So they're really interested. Yeah, see, they feel like if they've approached you, you would reject their love offer because you feel like it was too fast, too soon, um, or too much too soon. Like it's not the right time. They don't want you to be alone for too long. That's the thing. They don't want you to be alone for too long because they don't want, they want to beat the competition. But it's like the hangman has to hang there until he's good and ready. <laughs> you can't you can't rush that process. And I feel like that's the process that you're in. You're just you're in a holding pattern until further notice. If they want you, they'll wait. 
but I'm, I feel like they've been watching for a while, so I don't know. Don't know who that is. Earth sign. I'm getting earth sign. Or it could be somebody very well established, somebody who has money. I'm getting picking up that as well if it's not an earth sign. Money. I'm getting money. All right, let's see what else we have. Oh, wow, okay. So there's some kind of um, possibly like an unexpected message that you receive that, let's see. Yeah, there's some kind of message here that allows you to move forward uh, with a new opportunity. Interesting. Something moves forward unexpectedly, like out of nowhere. So here's what I feel. <clears throat> this person, <clears throat> you're going to know who this person is if this is resonating with you. Maybe not right now, but you're going to know. Because I feel like once you, because this person is going to openly be at some point pursuing you. Or they're going to make it known. I don't feel like they're going to be like overly aggressive or anything like that. But they're going to make it known what their desires are. Um and I do feel like there's an interest on your part. It's just that, you know, like we talked about, you're not quite ready. Um, but I feel like this person gets to the point where they feel like you friend zoned them. You know, when they start to get that, you know, they've been friend zoned. And I feel like they, they will reach that point And they're going to say, you know what, this is not going to go anywhere. This is not, you know. Aries is always going to see me as a friend and nothing more. And I feel like they're going to slowly back away because they're going to lose hope. And when you feel that happening, I think that's when things, when they stop trying, that's when you're going to want it. And it's going to be unexpected to them because they felt like they had to make these grand gestures and, you know, prove themselves. And maybe they did, you know, but, um, I feel like it's exactly when they stop doing that, that, um, yeah, it's kind of like you're not taking any action and when they, when you feel like they don't care anymore, that's when you start to care more. <laughs> so, and things change. So you realize that, oh, there is an interest. I do have an interest in this person because if they back away, that's bothering me. So, so it forces you kind of to make a decision or to allow them into your life because you realize you don't want to lose them. You don't want to lose that opportunity. Yeah, and, and I get like there's a conversation, the inevitable conversation takes place finally that may get all your questions answered 
Yeah, whatever it is that was holding you back. Mm -hmm. Look, Page of Swords with that <laughs> the moon in reverse. And the Five of Cups. See, I feel like... Okay, I feel like this person doesn't know exactly, you know, they know more or less what's going on or what has happened in your life, but they don't know all the details, you know. So I feel like you are going to have this moment of um, just kind of opening up so that they see that it's not them. It's not that you're rejecting them or you that you were rejecting them. It's, it's just a process, something that you were going through. Um, and I feel like this may bring the two of you together you know, closer together. So yeah, then it's just new relationship basically is what I'm seeing here. Somebody who has been watching you for some time going through a difficult relationship. And I feel like they had been like rooting for you to leave that other person and just waiting, um, for their moment and their moment is coming. So what is the advice for Aries? the bottom it's time to take action <laughs> new moon in aries okay the first card <laughs> wow okay be bold and make the first move cardinal moon and don't let pride get in your way full moon in leo we did see in your reading somebody was letting pride get in their way that was definitely a big part of your reading let me actually read this one here be bold and make the first move cardinal moon Now is the time to be bold, bossy even. Take matters into your own hands. Cardinal signs are powerful and self-starting. They're determined and great at organizing. Drawing this card strongly suggests that you're going to need to be all those things to get your ideal resolution or position in the situation you're asking about. This card may challenge you on how strongly you really want something. If you're worrying about a situation... It is a suggestion to, to be less passive. Instead, take an assertive stance as you steer events where you want them to go. Speak up for what you want. If you're, if you're serious about sorting things out, you may need to take the lead in some way to step up as a leader. All right. Let's see. Don't let pride get in your way. I really need to get new glasses. I can barely see. Okay. Have you been letting your pride become an obstacle? Is the question you're asking based on your ego or is it from your heart? Leo energy is all about the heart. Think of the big hearted king of the jungle, the lion. Its energy is magnificent, but when it's combined with the rush of the full moon, it can become over the top. This card may come to you because you need to end a deadlock that has developed. More love and thoughts for the greater good are the solution to this dilemma. If you've not been doing as you would be done by lately, this is the time to find a balance between your own needs and the needs of the people around you. This will, this will help all your relationships. Okay. All right, Aries. I hope this helped somehow, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.